Hello everybody, this is Paul with High Tech Legion. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Gigabyte P67A UD7 motherboard. This is built for the Sandy, new Intel Sandy Bridge processor. It is a P67 chipset and an 1155 socket. It is an enthusiast level motherboard. If we open up the box, we can see that there's a clear plastic panel which shows the motherboard and some pictures of the motherboard and its heat sinks. On the interior flap, we have some more pictures of the specifications of the motherboard. On the back of the box are more specifications and features. When we open up the box and pull out the interior box, this will reveal the motherboard itself in a plastic contained anti-static box. Pulling the board out of the box itself, there are two, actually two, two boxes inside of this. One contains the accessories and then of course the motherboard. Taking the motherboard out of the box, you can see that the board is a black PCB. Something different for Gigabyte now. They kind of went with a different color combination for their enthusiast boards. They do, do still make the familiar blue boards on the blue PCB, but with the enthusiast levels, they went with a different color scheme. Here are your heat sinks. You have four dim slots for DDR3 RAM. This is a power button. A reset button is here. You also have a reset CMOS button. This is a power, power connector for a fan. 24 pin power connector for your power supply. Native SATA 3. You have two, four, six, eight ports. Down on the bottom of the board itself is a debug. Here is where you would connect all your connectors for your ex external case stuff, your power, etc. And going, going to your slots, you have one, two, three, four PCIe sl uh, slots, two PCI slots, and one PCIe X1. This has the NVIDIA NF200 chipset, so you can run Tri SLI, you could also run Crossfire X on this. Looking at the IOs, Sound, 2, 4, 6, USB 3.0, PS2, RCA, Optical, eSATUS, Dual Giga LAN. You will need an 8-pin power connector to power the board for your CPU. CPU fan connector. And of course, the chipset itself, and this is for the new 1155. The back of the board does contain a bracket around the socket. Now we'll take a look at the accessories. There's quite a few accessories in this box, and I'll go ahead and bring them out to show you. We'll go ahead and place them on the table here. This is your I.O. panel. Also you have for the back of your case an external eSATA connector, which does come with connectors for it. This also has a tri SLI bridge. Two extra SATA connectors. Single SLI bridge. And no motherboard comes complete without its instructions.
guidebook, and your user's manual, which also contains your drivers for your motherboard. That'll be all for today on the Gigabyte P67A UD7 motherboard. Thank you.